Here we go. One, two, three. We'll see you on the planet Mars. Okay, that was probably too high. Hey, welcome to my channel. Check this out. Watch this as I walk. What, what, what is that? <laughs> That's a metal post. And not only that, look at behind me. They're all over the field. There's metal posts everywhere. So this is where I normally fly, but they put up all these metal posts so that people stay off the field. I'm kind of on the field at the moment. Anyway, so these posts aren't working and they're messing up my flying. So today we're gonna do some flying and we're gonna fly with the MJX RC Bugs Pro 8. This is not a GPS drone. This is not a DJI drone. This is a drone that is, if you have the skills to fly a DJI drone, then you're not gonna be able to fly this because you're gonna be all over the place. This is for someone who really knows how to fly. Actually, they put a stability mode in it to make it easy for beginners, and then they put an acro mode in it so that it's a little bit harder for beginners. This is really what drone flying is all about, one of these. So I'm gonna fly today and tell you a bit more. Here we go. All right, so let's take this little baby for a flight. So all you do is slide your battery in. You can slide it any way you want. It's a nice little rectangle shaped battery. As soon as I plug this in the back, we are all set to go. So I'm gonna turn on the controller first, on. And you see I have it in stabilization mode. So to plug in the battery, just plug in the battery, you just plug it in the back like this, minus, minus, plus, plus. Let's see if this button actually does the lights. There's the light button. Yeah, lights on, lights off. Okay, you'll notice too on this controller, you'll notice that most controllers, they sit in the middle like a DJI one. That's because you can basically put the controller down and the drone sits in the air. When you're flying a FPV type drone, this sits on the bottom because it will not sit in the air. As soon as I let go of this, it should just, well, it should fall to the ground. So you really have to keep your fingers on it and keep controlling it. So here we go. So this will start the motors. There we go. Let's see what we got. It's in stability mode. Whoa, that is fast. <laughs> this is not your, this is not your grandma's drone. This is, this is insane. Okay, let's bring it over here. And I don't even have it in high rates. This is low rates. So here, let's bring it in front of me. I like flying these type of drones. These are the kind of drones where it gets your blood going. So here, you can see my little fingers, the controls on it. So do it. It's the touchiest of controls. Let's see this. Let's just take it away up. Whoa, now I've lost it. I'll bring it over there. <laughs> oh, freak, that thing is fast. This thing is not for the faint of heart. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is the little flippies. Bring it up. I'll bring it right there. And let's try the flippy thing. There we go. Did a flip. Another flip. Easy. This is to make you look like you're a pro. When I fly FPV drones, I'm always doing flips, but I, ha I don't have a button to flip. I have to flip manually. So this is to make it look like you know what you're doing. So I'm sitting here and I go... Look at that guys, I can flip a drone. When you're flying FPV, you never set the camera to look straight or you never set it to look down because as you saw, when this thing flies, it does that and wants to go forward. So you always set the camera up. Now you should see me. There we go. Spin it around. All right, let's take you up. Whoa, that is going up high. I've got to, got to, I must, whoa, that's too high. You could lose this drone. Now, the thing with this drone is, is if you, um, if you lose it, it will beep until you find it, until the battery. Like there's a little beeper inside, I'll show you that in a bit, what happens. And if the uh, remote disconnects, it will just uh, it will just land. It has no GPS to come back. If I would have learned how to fly on this drone, I would have had a blast of a time. Of course, I would have probably destroyed it, the, probably the first few flights, but other than that, I'd still have a blast. So you can make it go stable here. I'll just get it nice and close to me and I'll put it down. And there we go. Hit this button here to kill the power. And there we go. So that is the MJX RC Bugs 8 drone. Now watch what happens if somehow I lose it. I turn this off. See? So now I'm looking for it. All I got to do is follow the beep. So if it went out of range, it will land itself. And I just look for that beeping sound and I find it. Turn this on. The same is true of this. If you're flying and all of a sudden your drone goes out of range and it's gone too far because there's no more signal to the controller, well, you might not know to go look for it because you just can't see it or it hits something. So watch this. Pull this out. This will beep. So that beeping sound tells you that is out of range 
and you've lost connection. It will stop beeping when it's back in range. Next, I'm gonna try out the FPV goggles, but before I do that, let me show you a quick unboxing so you see everything that comes in this here package. All right, this is the part of the video where I give you a quick rundown of all the components that come inside the box, and I do this really fast. It should only take like less than a minute if I stop talking. MJXRC sent me this Bugs 8 Pro, and they said try it out, and I said, sure, I'd love to try it out. So here it is right here. They also sent me these FPV goggles. I don't know if it comes with it. I'm gonna say no. I think you might have to get these extra, or it's a separate kit, or it's all in a big kit i will put the links below so i'll show you this is what the actual display looks like here and you just slide it in your goggles which are included and you have a little camera on your drone and you see what the drone sees and it's a lot of fun so let's do the unboxing now first thing in the box is the bugs 8 pro quick start guide quick look inside whoa that's a lot of red that is a nice red actually even the props are red that is pretty cool i like that already okay so here's the drone pull this out look at how thin it is it's not too thick underneath it looks like a place to put the battery it's 11.1 volt 1300 milliamp battery and it's got a nice little balance plug right here which is good which means you can charge it on a different type of charger if you want plus the normal charger you've got uh, super bright led lights in the front and you've got lights at the back also included is a package of spare props and you will notice that they are tri-blade props because this is an fpv drone made for racing in sharp quarters you also get a screwdriver and a prop removal tool you also get the battery charger and finally included is a nice controller so you have turn the lights on and off button you have start and stop the motors button low high rates button take a picture here you have your modes on the back you have two buttons l1 clicks l2 doesn't so i assume this here is for flips and it takes four AA batteries not included all right we're going to slide the battery in really quick and just drop it on the scale and see what the weight is 249 grams. All right, so they made the Bugs 8 so that it's made more for beginners. They don't want people to hurt themselves or hurt others. So it only flies in stability mode, which is considered angle mode. And according to my instructions, if I want to make it go in acro mode, which is professional for FPV fun flying, I have to take off the cover, which I've unscrewed. And then over here, I have to put a jumper that comes in a little package included with it. So I will show you that now. So if I cross these two connectors with this jumper, which I'm just gonna push into place right there. Now, the drone will know that it can do angle mode and acro mode. And now a quick unboxing of the Bugs FPV goggles. Let me show you what comes in this box. You get the FPV camera that you connect to the Bugs so you can see where you're flying through the goggles. Next, you should get the goggles themselves. And here we have your Terminator Jordi LaForge sci-fi goggles. Front of your goggles should be your actual display unit. And there it is. So this here will receive the signal from your drone displayed on here. You can either look at it in your hands or have someone else hold it while you fly, or you could stick it in the goggles and put this on your face or have someone else put this on their face and you fly in. Voila, you have a great drone experience. That's so you can attach it to your controller and fly it like that. So if you wanna fly it looking at your controller, you can. And see if my little display works here. Let's see, what do we get? Oh, there we go. Well, it works right away. There's, there we are. There is the display. It's looking around. You can sort of see it on the monitor. I got bright lights here blowing it out, but there you go. We're all set to go. So I've got the Bugs drone over there. I've got the controller here, and I'm gonna put on these silly goggles. Now, when I fly, I usually fly with uh, Fat Shark goggles. They're much smaller, and but they're very expensive. They'd be more expensive this entire drone. It's an investment when you get into FPV. But for this demo, I'm gonna use the included MJXRC goggles. So what I do is I open this, pull this out. Still got my GoPro on my head, you'll see here. Turn this on. There you go. I don't know if the GoPro can pick it up. I'll turn it this way so I can see it. That is an image that that drone over there is actually picking up. So that's what the camera sees. I can see the sky and I can see the ground. I'm gonna to toss this in here. We're all good. Take off my GoPro, put on the goggles. Here we go, Let's see what I see. I think flight time is 20 minutes. It depends how aggressive you fly. If you put a bigger battery in, you can fly longer. Man, I love this drone. I don't know if you can see all the ants. I must have landed in an anthill. Look at them, they're all over it. <laughs> Look at this. The drone is full of ants. All right, I think this is how I'm gonna get rid of the ants. I'm just gonna fly around and blow them to smithereens. Here we go. One, two, three. See ya, ants. We'll see you on the planet Mars. Okay, that was probably too high. <laughs> Those are the first ants in space. Ants in space. Coming down super fast. God, that thing is awesome. 
All right, so that concludes my quick review of the MJXRC Bugs 8 Pro. I love this drone because you know me. Look, at there's still ants on my freaking. I can't get rid of all the ants. I, uh, I love this drone. I love FPV flying. As many of you know, if you watch my videos on the channel, every now and then I'll fly FPV. That is the best way to fly drones. Certainly, if you fly camera drones, you have to fly slow and it doesn't take a lot of skill. The only skill is in actually using the camera to get the shot or the video you want. But the flying skill, you really don't need much skill. A beginner could pick up one of those expensive $1,000, $2,000 drones and fly them. However, a beginner flying one of these is really gonna need skill. And since they don't have bad habits, that's one thing I've noticed. If I give this to a beginner who's never flown a drone before, they do better than people who have flown DJI or Autel or unique drones because it's, uh, you know, they haven't learned all the bad habits of flying those drones. So if you yourself are one of those people that flies a DJI, an Autel, a Unique, a Parrot drone, and you really want to take it to the next limit, you've got to get yourself one of these. So all in all, I would say this drone, the drone here right here is awesome and I highly recommend it. I'll put links below to where you can find it on Amazon. I don't know if that's the only place you can get it. You could probably get it someplace else, I'm sure. So check around, find the best price. And uh, if you get one, tell me what you think of it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll catch you the next video.